Hey, what's going on everyone? In today's video, I'm going to be talking about a case study. It's, disclaimer, it's not my case study, but it is um, about how this burger place got 592 redeem offers in just 15 days while only spending $99.44. So if you're a restaurant owner that um, had been coming, wanted to come up with a, an idea to increase cash flow for this month or, or customers, uh, for this month for any specific reason, right? This, this is um, uh, a month coming up for St. Patrick's. It should be pretty good for most um, businesses to have um, alcoholic beverages. Um, but, you know, we just passed February, for example, or, or, or January. Um, in, 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 months low, in, in slow months coming up, uh, within a year, if you know there's one of those coming up, then perhaps a uh, this is something that could be helpful to you, right? An offer. This is not something you want to keep running, continue running, because obviously, right, you're just gonna get customers used to this. But um, if there are those slow months, um, you, this is perhaps something you may want to consider, test it out, and check or check it out. So let's go ahead and get started. Have Burger back got 592 redeem offers in 15 days while only spending $99.94. Again, disclaimer, not everybody can get the same results. These are not my results, no, not one of my clients either. Um, you can check out this person, it's Nick Forsberg, right? He's been a restaurant owner, bar owner for many, many years. And basically, um, if you go to barrestaurantsuccess.com forward slash about, you can read his story about um, how he got to get into marketing and learn marketing related to restaurants since he's been in that industry so what they did basically is run a promotion right typically promotions are people printing in flyers and magazines and uh, posting on social media about the offers but that's not really a way to track um the results you can track results with those right especially magazines if they offer coupons but then what's next in the back end you want to further strengthen the relationship with the customer in a way that if somebody brings you a coupon from the magazine the magazine has the relationship with your customer because they have their contact but now you want to what you want to do is you want to be the one that has a direct relationship with your customer, know that magazine. And I don't mean the relationship just by you, they come into your location and get it to meet them because with that, yes, they may have a chance to, ret to return, but you want to strengthen that chance for them to return by continuing the communication. And you do that in a way that, for example, in this offer and promotion, part of the the relationship building is okay you know we want to offer you this promotion but at the same time we want to stay in contact with you to continue send you offers and promotions in the future right so um let's see here it talks a little bit about the process i just went through right lead magnet is the promotion for example um then people that want that promotion they can sign up um, so, for example, uh, we have many popular big chain restaurants. Uh, one that comes to mind is Del Taco. Del Taco has, um, you can check out there's the e-club, right? It has the e-club. And so this is a similar promotion that you can may see in the internet. So if you want to be part of the promotion that's the, the promotion that we are in the announcement you basically are going to be come, becoming part of our e-club and so for ex an example that the taco showing over here right you get to receive this special promotion if you join our e-club and what that means basically you just give it you just give us the information you give us your birthday so we can send you gifts on your birthday and then that information you when you submit it you are accepting that we continue to um you know stay in contact with you, send your communications, so to speak. And so once you send that information, then you get your special offer that we are running or, or promotion. So that's what this explanation is over here, right? Which um, 
in a way you can track because you can track the coupons for the promotion. You can see how many people provided the coupon for the specific promotion. If you and your staff are very um, coordinated and in the same page of all the track, all the pro providing the promotion, people bring the coupon and keeping track of those promotions. So that way you can see how much money you made out of it, right? That way you can see if you're really making money to see if there's a promotions you can actually make in the future. Um, here's a little bit about the promotion on this one, right? This just picture, it doesn't go into detail about the uh, the promotion, but let's see if we can find out. Burger back, you know, Facebook, let's go to Facebook first. Burger back. Okay, then burger back. Uh, so one of the ways you can find out is to see if they're running any ads. No, they're not running ads right now. Okay. Um, maybe it's a public post. If it is a public post, uh, you should be able to see what um, their posts and see, go back, see if they if they actually put it as a public post. You know, sometimes people, people those, those uh, advertising may not be public or people may hide it so that way they don't get to see what um, what have his button has been done or maybe he didn't even do it on on their page maybe uh they just did it on a similar page uh from burger back so i'm sure if 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 uh, that will show over here but i can show you some examples of the ones that we've done so in this one all he's saying is right this is the offer it doesn't show the the offer specifically just the pictures that they use it just shows a little bit of the numbers that they have, right? Meaning um, they were running advertising. But if you notice, the majority of those people were organic because a lot of people, part of the um, part of the deal in order for you to participate is like, share the post, comment, right? Something specifically. And so the, the sharing causes this to go uh, viral in an organic way. And so the paid in the paying part of it is to give it a little push. But as you can see, the organic, and I know this is the organic reach because the organic reach is a lighter orange within Facebook, that, and then a darker orange is the paid one. And you can see there the organic one, the uh, a higher reach than the paid one um, due to the sharing factor of it. And I am... Um, then obviously part of the deal was like in sharing comment. Uh, then the next step was then to providing uh, to get your info, email information. So for example, there's a taco. Maybe they go to a page specifically like this, a page specifically related to the deal and where to sign up, right? Uh, when they sign up, they be able to uh, continue to promote it in the future. <clears throat> Here are a little, a little bit of the results, right, that they got about... Um, 1700 new contacts uh they were able to track how many they redeem right um and how much they cost them to redeem 31 cents per per people that provided the email only spending 99.44 people and what that means essentially is that you can um continue to advertise to those people I know it's a lot to cover. I'm going to show you another example here real quick, but if you have any questions about this, you can check out my website, www.digitaltrack.co. Uh, again, that was not my offer, but I can kind of give you an advice of what they did um, uh, in regards to similar offers that we've done for some clients, for example. In this offer that we did to uh, from El Carico, which is a Mexican restaurant here in Vacaville, uh, we were giving away a $25 gift card right to our clients. Um, and some of the stuff they had to do is, is comment. So in the example that Nick provided over here is it's an example similar to this, they can do a page and, and, and get it to complete the information. The example that I'm going to show you here is more about um, uh, going a different approach, right? It's, it's a similar approach that we want you to participate to get something to build that, you know, that... Um, that awareness, but at the same time, incentivize clients to come in, uh, get into win a, a gift certificate. And so one of the things that you can do as well is, for example, um, get them to perform actions in order to win, right? So the action that we got them to do here is simply comment 
their um, um, their favorite Mexican dish. Okay, so what that caught, what that led to, is to people who wanted to win, and part of the participation that uh, in order for them to win is providing comments, is commenting below their food. Now, what that um, it, what that entails to is that for every pe person that commented, we are basically asking them if they want to sign up for it, if they if for every person that commented in order for them to continue to participate they have to sign up to receive messages from us on facebook and to provide us their email address so whenever somebody comments over here on the on the on the advertising uh there's tools that can be utilized so anybody comments on a specific post uh, you take into a process similar to a process to signing up via email, right? A process in this situation was okay, you come in something, then in order for you to, particip to participate, go ahead and, and confirm that you want to participate. But that means that you're going to be enrolling into receiving communications from us, and also you can we want you to um, to complete the participate your participation. You you need to enroll into the newsletter as well to receive communications via email as well. So now the situation becomes to Yes, you receive communications with us via Facebook, right? But at the same time, you you receive communications from us with uh, via uh, emails, email marketing. So there's two channels of communications that you are opening up over there. The, and the, the benefit on that is that you don't have to constantly continue to pay advertising in order for customers to remember that you're there or to incentivize them to come back, right? You can simply build relationship with your customers through messages, right? You send either for like Facebook messages, for example, or you send email marketing or you send text marketing, right? So if you have those combinations, could be it, it will be even better. But those are channels that you constantly have with your customers. I mean, think about the big companies, right? You have McDonald's, the Taco. The Taco provides you um, a, a form where they can complete and then they continue to send you messages. Uh, you got McDonald's, right? McDonald's, one of the biggest <clears throat> in the industry when it comes to advertising in, for restaurants, right? They they basically have specials as well. You can sign up. They, they even have uh, an application, right? So they got you in different ways. Their application will get your information and they, they will uh, send you emails because part of that is you setting up the application that will get your, your your email information, but also they will send you push notifications on your phone, which is very powerful. You just think about yourself, right? If you have a smartphone, how often are you checking your not notifications that you get to see who sent your message? Um, that's the, the power that they're trying to capture, but that's a different level, right? But what I'm going with is the same concept, right? They <clears throat> they master marketing, they, they've grown because they obviously have the money to be paying in order for you to get you to be in the door, but also they stay in contact with us um, by building <clears throat> by building uh, channels of communications with their clients, right? Offering something, get them to provide you the information in order to, to establish a relationship. So again, that was a little bit too long. It was just another example I wanted to provide you, but if you have, again, questions related to what I cover, to what we cover, you know, you can check it. You can visit my website, digitaltrack.co. You'll see the different forms of you to communicate. Uh, if you scroll down to the bottom, you'll see the different um, social media channels you can contact, connect with me as well. And this is my cell phone, okay? So you'll, you'll get to me. If, you, if I don't answer, you can leave a voicemail. You can text me, uh, but I'll get back to you. All right. Have a good one. Bye.